Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome to Corkos Fitness. So today I'm bringing to you a full body resistance bands workout. This workout is great for any level because you can make it as easy or as hard as you want depending on the resistance band that you use. Whether you use a thin one or a thicker band, it's all up to you. Tailor it to your level. Today I've got for you 10 exercises. I'm gonna do this over two rounds as an interval style workout. So we're gonna do 45 seconds on with a 20 second rest period. And on the unilateral exercises, we're gonna do 30 seconds each side with a 10 second transition in between. I'm gonna be using a couple of different bands for this. So I've got my thinner band and my slightly thicker band. You're not gonna to need to tether this to anything. I've made it as easy as possible. We're just gonna be able to go from one exercise to the other using your body as the tether point. Just a note, get yourself something to put your feet on, like a little stool like this, because we're gonna do some um, Bulgarian split squats and you'll need just to elevate your rear leg on that. Okay, so first exercise, we're gonna go for a squat with an overhead press. Get in your squat position. Choose a band that's right for you, feet shoulder width apart. A uh, little twist on this, we're gonna squat with our arms extended above our head, and at the end of the squat, we're gonna press. So squat down, press up, and then do your shoulder press. I'll show you an alternative on the screen if you can't do this. Make sure your knees stay out. Maintain your posture, neutral spine. Glutes and core engaged. So you need 45 seconds of this, then you get a 20 second rest. It's a different style of training. It's a lot of fun and you fatigue really quickly. So, ready for our Bulgarian split squat. Bound under your front leg, over your neck. Make sure you've got a solid base to put your rear leg on. We're gonna squat, um, like do a lunge movement down, push through our thigh, straight up. Push into our heel, thigh and glute. Try and keep your upper body as upright as possible. So you've got 10 seconds, swap round to the other leg. Same position again. Drive through your heel, your thigh and your glute. Keeping your upper body upright as you can. You'll probably feel a stretch in your hip flexors on the other side. Excellent. So we're going to do a deadlift. It's really quick moving this. You, you find that the interval goes past real quick. So I'm going to use a thicker band into a deadlift position. You can keep the same band you're using if it's all you've got. So we're going to squat down, keeping our back neutral, push back up through. Are you listening? Damn. Keep your neck nice and neutral, scapulars or your shoulders, back and down. Always maintain good posture. If you want to make this harder, just stand a little bit wider, increase that resistance. Excellent, cool, it catches you up already. So, next exercise, down onto the floor. You do straight leg kickbacks, so hold your band, like you're gonna do a press up position. Band over your foot, leg out straight, and then lift, 
isolating into your glute. Try not to bend your lower back too much. So the band doesn't create more resistance on your glute, but what it does is it makes you concentrate on keeping your leg straight and focusing on your glute activation. Swap sides. Get ready. So yeah, keep your spine neutral. Just isolate into that glute. Excellent, so stay down on the floor. We're gonna do laying pullbacks. Grab your band like that. Keep your neck neutral. So we're gonna pull down like a lap pull down. So pull down, neck neutral, head back. And keep your arms up off the ground. Don't let them drag on the ground. Really squeeze between your scapulas. Squeeze it together. Keeping those arms up. So remain on the ground. We're now gonna go into a banded press. So get your resistance bands. Maybe twist it over once. Round your back so it's scapular level. Get down into a press up position. If you can't do a full press up, do it on your knees. Let's press. Make sure you don't let your pelvis drop when you do a press up. To stop that happening, engage your glutes and keep your core tight. Excellent, so now we're going to go up onto our feet. We're going to do a bicep curl. I'm going to take a thicker band, shoulder width apart, band in position, elbows by your side, head up, glutes engaged. Then just curl at the elbow, nice and slow. Nice, feel that contraction. Get your breathing under control. Excellent, so I'll swap into my thinner band. Overhead tricep extension. Stand on your band, over the back of your head. Engage your glutes, core, arms straight. So you're gonna press away, keeping your upper arm as vertical as you can. You'll feel your abs firing. Keep that stability.
Wow, really feel that burning through your tricep. Keep going, keep pushing through. Don't let your form go. Slow it down if you have to. So now we're gonna go into a lateral raise. Band under one foot, pelvis neutral, shoulders back, scapulas down, arm out to the side, and up we go. Nice, slow, controlled movements. So we do 30 seconds each side. Swap to the other side, 10 seconds. Might feel like a small movement, but you're really isolating into your deltoid. Great work. So now we're going to do our final exercise, ab exercise, so get down. You don't need your band for this. I want you in a press up position, so we're going to go plank knee to elbow. I'm going to do it with extended arms. I want you to come in and across with your knee. So in and across, and across. Are you listening? You'd be happy to know you've only got to do this for a minute. Really getting our obliques involved. Yeah. Uh. Try and yeah. touch your elbow if you can. There we go. Whoa. End of round one. Let's turn that off. It's pretty intense. So when you combine using your resistance band with interval training, having that short rest in between, it's surprising how quickly you can fatigue your muscles. Grab a drink, we'll have a couple of minutes rest, and we'll jump straight into round two. Okay, so let's get ready for round two. We'll do our squat with overhead press. Remember, if you can't do it with your arms extended, then do it with your arms down, as I showed you in the alternative. So let's get ready. Remember our posture. Let's go. Okay, into our Bulgarian split squat, band over your back of your neck, under your front foot, in position, 
If you find your forms going, slow it down. Quality is better than quantity in this. So if you need to slow it down, just to get that form right, that's fine. Round your other leg. You should really feel your heart rate increase. You should feel your muscles working now. Excellent work, you really feel that stretching through in your hip flexor as well. Uh, now we're going to go into our deadlift, so band on the ground. Put your feet where they're comfortable. Shoulders down and back. And then we start deadlift. Keep your spine neutral, remember? Head up. Just run your hands down your legs. Don't let them go out in front of you. Put your lower back at risk. So, we're going to do uh, straight leg kickbacks down on the ground. Again, like a press up type position. Band on your foot, leg out straight behind you. Remember, keep your spine neutral. We're lifting from the glute. Try not to arch your lower back too much. Swap legs. Remember, you only go up as high as you can go. There's no right or wrong. Just do what's right for you. Everyone's got different levels of flexibility. You can increase yours over time with more training and stretching. So remain down on the ground. We do lay and pull back. So grab your band like this. Remember on this one, try and keep your arms up off the ground. Really squeeze between your scapulas. Perfect. 
Okay, just so get ready to do our banded press. These 20 seconds seem to go by real quick. So let's get it ready on our backs. Take a deep breath. Press up position, knees if you have to. Wow, that is draining. Remember, do that one on your knees if you can't do a full press up. So now we're going to our bicep curls. Again, get your breath, position, and start curling. Elbows by your side. Feel that contraction in your bicep. such an effective way of training. They're so versatile resistance bands and they're surprisingly hard work. <sighs> Woo, really, really feeling this now. We're nearly there. So we're gonna do standing, overhead, tricep extension. Remember, engage your core and your glutes arm as vertical as you can. Get ready, let's go, extend. Remember I said, slow it down if you need to. Don't jeopardize your form. So, straight into our lateral raises. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. We're so close to finishing now. Stay with it. Remember, we're feeling this in our deltoid. Swap to the other side. Then we've got a minute of abs after this. Really isolating exercise. Should be feeling this in your deltoid. Keep this core engaged glutes engaged, support your upper body. So, we're now gonna get down on the ground. Minute of abs. This time I want you to be on your elbows, plank position. And you're gonna bring your knee 
to your elbow each side. Nice and slow. You don't have to touch your elbow, just get up as far as you can. And that's the end of round two. Wow, feeling that. That is a great full body workout. It's quick, it's intense, but it's hard going. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Please drop me some comments. Let me know how you got on. Also let me know if there's any further videos you want to see, different types of training you want. Drop me a comment and I'll do my best to get it out for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.